In this What, Why, When Wednesday video, we continue our van tour with 11 points we think you should know about the front part of the van. And in this van tour series, we have five different videos, five different topics that we have made. So first is the outside, second is the front, third is the middle, four is the back, and five is how we sleep. For our first point that we want to mention about the front of the van, we go to the electrics. In the last video we showed you how we don't like the flappy panels of the Volkswagen California. So in this video we'll show you how Tonke has found a solution not to have those flappy panels. First we have to open the hood of the car. And here you see how Tonke has solved this. They've put the electric connection under the hood of the car. So how do you connect it? It's done. Now for the truck special, the truck special, you can leave the cable outside. It's now positioned neatly into this space. What you then do is you just close and it's good. Perfect. So we really, really like this solution. And point number two is this curtain. We use it to keep out the light and to get some privacy in the camper. This solution is made by Tonke, uh, but we are not so happy with it because the light still comes in and uh, it shines, still shines through and uh, unfortunately it's already damaged at one point and it's over here and that's because uh, these points are not at the right spot. So we are looking for something better. So does anyone know a better solution? We would really love to hear that. Um, and it has to fit under the chair. We need to fold it and fit under there. So it has to be a small package. And you can remove it like this. Point number three are the front seats. Uh, both seats can be turned. Uh, we only turn this one, the passenger seat, and not this one, because this one we use for our bedding. Uh, we put it there when the ceiling is up. Now I'm gonna turn the seat. First of all, you need to put the backrest upright. Like this. Then make sure that the armrests are, are up. Put the chair backwards and then you have this handle like this too. Now the um, curtains are out of the way and also the bedding is gone and we can get to the front of the car. We start at, num at point number four, and that's the seven speed DSG gearbox. Um, it is a very smooth automatic gearbox, so we are very happy with it, especially with the 150 horsepower that the engine has. So that combination is perfect. So that's something we would recommend you to get. And for point number five, we come to the decision that we made for the infotainment system. You can get a very expensive, elaborate infotainment system with navigation and things like that but we chose the basic version and that only has android auto apple carplay and mirror link so actually what you are doing is you're using your mobile phone as the, the smart device in the car and it works perfectly we tried it with waze or we use it continuously with waze and it is the best so this is um, an advice that we give you and when we get to point number six 
Um, it's about the choice that we made for a rear view camera. We do have a rear view camera on the van, as you can see here, uh, because we think it's the best uh, to see the obstacles that are in our way. And, the, and, we have, and we have especially not made a decision to have the parking sensors at the back. Uh, what you see is that uh, when you have parking sensors at the back, uh, they only sense the low area uh, behind the car. Uh, and not at height. So you still get damages. Point number seven is the air conditioning. We choose to have air conditioning in the van. We only use it while we are driving uh, because when we are parked, we have two other solutions. And one is to open both doors. You can see it in the video that's linked here. The second solution is this little van that we use and the battery of this van is chargeable. Yeah. And for point number eight, we come to the decision that we made uh, for the steering wheel. We made a choice for a more expensive leather steering wheel uh, with the buttons. And then you can, you can uh, control the car uh, with the buttons on the steering wheel. Um, and we think that's the good choice to make uh, because you make long hours behind the wheel and you want to have some comfort here. Point number nine is the heater. It's an option by Volkswagen. Uh, it's diesel powered by the main diesel tank. And uh, we only used it once. And at that moment, it gave us a very comfy heat. And that comes from here. For point number 10, it's about the choice that we have for cruise control. We do have cruise control in this van, uh, but it's actually the only uh, option that we have on the van that is with help and with guidance. So we don't have uh, collision control or we have uh, parking assist. Uh, we only have this and we are happy about it. We don't miss any of the other gadgets. And for the last point, point number 11, we get to the electrical connections or charging points that we have in the van or at least at the front. We have the, the new uh, USB-C connections that are standard for Volkswagen now. So you get them, you don't have a choice. Um, but we also have the two cigarette lighter uh, charging points, but we don't have the old USB uh, connections. So we need to make the USB-C and the cigarette lighter connections into the regular USB connections for all of the devices that we have, because we don't have the new USB-C uh, connections yet. So that might be a bit annoying for some people, but we have worked around it, so now it's fine. And then when we look at the, at the back of the seats, we've asked Tonke to place two uh, new uh, cigarette lighter connections there. So at the back of the seats, we can uh, charge two devices at the same time through the cigarette lighter, the lighter connections. And those were perfect. We will use them quite a lot, uh, so we are very happy about it and we can recommend it to anyone. And with that we have come to the end of the second part of our van tour. If you think we might have missed something, or we did not explain it right, please let us know in the comments below. And we invite you to subscribe so you don't have to miss van tour number 3, where we cover the middle part of our van.